This video is sponsored by RipX Store. The seven modes of the major scale are effectively the same set of seven notes in the same order, but with each mode we're treating a different note in that collection as the tonic note. Now that's all really cool and all, but the actual useful thing about modes is the fact that these seven different scales offer seven different shades of brightness and seven different moods. Moods that we can apply to our own music. And a great way to directly compare the relative brightness of each of these scales is to take the same piece of music, for example, the verse of Wonderwall by Oasis, and with the help of today's sponsor, Ripex Store, digitally modify it so it's now in each of these different modes. So let's start by listening to the excerpt from Wonderwall that we will be using today. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. The original version of Wonderwall is basically in the minor key. I will explain more about that later on, but effectively it's a minor key song. So let's start off by doing the most obvious thing and swapping us from minor to major. Let's swap Wonderwall into the regular major scale to see how it sounds. As you can hear, the major scale compared to the minor is significantly brighter, and we can really hear that in the music now. To switch Wonderwall into the major key, all I had to do was take all of the minor thirds, the A naturals, and sharpen them up to A sharps. I've also got to take Wonderwall's seventh degree and raise it up to where it would be in the F sharp major scale, which would be the note E sharp. And finally, swap in chords from the F sharp major scale rather than the original F sharp minor chords. So that's Wonderwall in the major scale, but in our family of seven modes, there's actually three different types of major mode. The major scale is one of those major modes, and it's known as Aeolian when we're talking about modes. But we also have Lydian, which is effectively a brighter version of the major scale, and Mixolydian, which is effectively a slightly darker version of the major scale. So let's have a listen to Lydian first. The only difference between major and Lydian is that Lydian has a raised fourth. The fourth degree of the scale has been sharpened. So if I go through the Wonderwall melody and raise all of the fourths up and add in chords that will paint us into that Lydian sound, we can hear what Wonderwall would sound like in the Lydian mode. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. Now. Lydian is often described as having a sort of ethereal, magical sound. Also, you may notice that the chords I've chosen all put F sharp, our root note, our tonic note, as their bass note. And that is very much intentional. The Lydian scale is fairly unstable. It's quite hard to make it sound Lydian. It has a tendency of sort of wanting to change into one of the other modes, because remember, all of the modes use the exact same seven notes. So a good way of making sure we stay in one particular mode is to have the root note pedaled, repeated, underneath every single chord, like I have here. So that was Lydian, the brighter version of the major scale. Now let's listen to Mixolydian, which is the slightly darker version of the major scale. Mixolydian is exactly the same as the typical major scale, but the seventh degree has been lowered. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Somehow realize what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. As you can hear, Mixolydian is slightly darker than major. It doesn't have the darkness of a minor scale. We still have that major third, but the lowered seventh gives it a slightly cooler, more laid back sound. So I mentioned earlier that Wonderwall is in the minor key, but it has something interesting going on. It's not actually in the minor scale per se, because at least in the verse, both the chords and the vocal melody are only using notes from the pentatonic scale. The pentatonic scale is a simplified version of the minor scale, which only has five notes. It leaves out the second degree and the sixth degree. 
What this means is that although we know that Wonderwall is in the minor key, it hasn't been committed to any particular minor scale. In the collection of the seven modes, there are three minor modes. Aeolian, which is a fancy modal name for the natural minor scale, and there's also Dorian and Phrygian. These are three effectively minor scales, but as you can see, the only thing that differentiates them is the note that's on their second degree and their sixth degree. But Wonderwall in the verse doesn't feature the second or sixth degree at any point. So all we have to do to push Wonderwall into one of these scales is place the original unaltered melody over particular chords that will give us the necessary notes of that particular scale. So let's do that right now. Let's start by committing Wonderwall into the normal natural minor scale known as the Aeolian mode. All I've had to do to achieve this is to make sure we have that sixth degree in the harmony. And that sixth degree is present in these chords. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Aeolian has that typically minor sound. Solemn, dark, but not sort of scary, more just sad. But just like how the modes offer us three different major scales, the regular major scale, the slightly brighter Lydian, and the slightly darker Mixolydian, the modes also offer us three different minor scales, the natural minor, the Aeolian, and then a slightly brighter version, Dorian, and a slightly darker version, Phrygian. So now let's place Wonderwall into the slightly brighter version of the minor scale, Dorian. The only difference between Aeolian and Dorian is that in Dorian, the sixth degree has been raised up. So if I just get that raised sixth into the harmony in these B major chords, we will be placing Wonderwall into the Dorian scale. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. We can hear with Dorian that we're very much in a minor key, but only just. We've got enough brightness that it doesn't necessarily feel sad or mournful. It has a bittersweet, whimsical, yet dark sound. As I mentioned at the start, I've been using a piece of software called RipX Door to create these alternative versions of Wonderwall. RipX Door allows you to not only isolate the different elements of any given song, now the lights that lead us there are blinding. But then once you've done that, you, you can then do. freely modify the notes in each of those parts. Do. That's what you gotta do. You can also auto-tune them if you want to. You can stretch them out, you can shorten them, you can add vibrato. Do. You could create harmonies from one existing do. vocal line. You can really do so much with this do. piece of software. So I highly recommend you check it out. You can do so with a free trial using the link down below in the description. Thanks again to Ripex Door for making this video possible. And now back to shoving Wonderwall into each different mode of the major scale. So that was Dorian, the slightly brighter version of the minor scale. Now let's look at Phrygian, the slightly darker version of the minor scale. Phrygian is exactly the same as Aeolian, the natural minor, but this time the second degree has been lowered. So let's get the second degree, that G natural, into the harmony here and we can hear what Wonderwall would sound like in the Phrygian mode. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now If the typical minor scale, Aeolian, is sad, then I think we can describe Phrygian as sort of scary. It has a slightly unnerving, slightly intimidating sound to it. So that leaves us with the odd one out, the final mode, the mode often described as the unusable mode. The Locrian mode has a minor third to it, so it's close to a minor scale, but it also has a diminished fifth, a lowered fifth. So we can actually categorize it as a type of diminished scale. And this is part of the reason why it's so hard to use, because the tonic chord of the Locrian scale is a diminished chord, and diminished chords are unstable. They want to move somewhere else, 
but the tonic chord of your key is meant to be the home that you resolve back to, so it's very hard to get a sense of resolution when you're sticking 100% to the Locrian scale. Hence why very little music is written using the scale. But that doesn't mean we can't move Wonderwall into the Locrian scale to see how it sounds. And in fact, it's now time for me to reveal something that I've not told you. Throughout this entire video, I've been displaying the original Wonderwall melody like this, with the first note of both of these phrases in the verse being a C sharp, the fifth degree of the scale. This is how you'll see the Wonderwall melody notated on official sheet music everywhere, but Liam Gallagher doesn't actually sing a C sharp there, he sings a C natural. He sings the lowered fifth, the exact note we need in the Locrian scale. Now in the original, he's effectively singing this as what's called a blue note. It's like in this moment he's using the blue scale rather than the minor pentatonic. Now for all of the other modes we've listened to in this video so far, for simplicity's sake I have raised that lowered fifth back up to where it would traditionally be on the fifth degree to make sure we're hearing a pure version of that mode, because all of the other modes have the regular fifth degree, not a flat fifth. But here with the Locrian mode we actually do want that lowered fifth, so here I've been able to keep the original note that Liam actually sings there. Now later in the melody he does sing fifth degrees again and this time he does sing them as the proper fifth degree so I've had to lower those. But beyond that, because the Wonderwall melody doesn't use the second degree or the sixth degree, there's nothing else I have to modify to turn this into a Locrian melody. So all that's left to do is add in some chords that will paint us into that Locrian sound. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now As you can hear, Locrian is even darker than the Phrygian scale was. It's like if the minor scale was sad and the Phrygian scale was scary, then the Locrian scale is damn unnerving. You also may notice that, like I did with the Lydian scale, I've made sure that every chord here has the tonic note of F sharp as its lowest pitch, underpinning the whole thing, because Locrian is really unstable, it really doesn't want to stay in Locrian, so a good trick to keep it locked in to that Locrian sound is to keep the tonic note droning underneath every chord at all times. So that is what Wonderwall would sound like in each of the seven different modes, and hopefully that's given you a good gauge of the seven different shades of tonal brightness that we can achieve with the seven modes of the major scale.